Good afternoon. Welcome to this edition of the 411 Talk Soul Radio Show. My name is Leon Jones. This afternoon's topic, I'm going to talk about types of depression and warning signs. See, a number of us don't know when we become depressed. And then if you're depressed, sometimes the depressed state that you're in may not be a mental illness. It could be because you are sad about what you're going through in life. And what I'm talking about is that depression that you think you have could be more on the side of worrying, which in essence can lead to stress, which will also lead to depression. Now, what I'm here to present is the warning signs and the types of depression because a number of us don't have a clue that there is more than one type of depression unless you study the subject matter or you are a professional healthcare administrator, like a doctor, a psychologist, a psychiatrist, or a mental health professional. But after watching this video, you should have an overview of how to identify the warning signs and what type of depression you have. I'm going to get into the topic. First of all, let me get this one bit of information out of the way. By trade, I'm a civil engineer. I'm not a doctor, so I do not diagnose any patients. I study the subject matter because it is very important to me because there are many individuals in today's society who have some type of mental health illness, they don't even know it. So the purpose of each video that I do, it's to give you an overview of the warnings, the symptoms, and the treatments, and even I give you an idea of, of what type of mental illness that you have. Now, everything that I give you in the videos is based off of articles from sites like the American Heart Association, the American Psychiatric or Psychological Association. And I take the information and I put it into my own words once I go through the article because it helps me to understand the subject matter a lot better. And then I'll present it to you and you make your own comment on the subject matter. So after further ado to get that out of the way, let's get into the topic. Now basically, depression is not just feeling blue from time to time. When it comes to depression, the warning signs are characterized by overwhelming daily feelings of sadness, hopelessness, and worthiness, and you have an empty feeling. Now, a person who has experienced depression often cannot look into the future for themselves. They have this idea that the world is closing in on them. Now, when it comes to the signs of depression, not everyone who has been depressed or is depressed can see the signs or experience the signs. However, you have some people who will experience few signs while others, which that's a number of people who have been diagnosed with depression, they may have many signs and they just don't know it. What you have to understand about any type of mental issue and sticking with depression, 
it's the severity of symptoms and what they do they vary with individuals over time this is why you have to treat it before it gets worse it's like a car if you have a car and you notice a small leak in your antifreeze I'll use that as an example some people what they do they just ride on it they don't think about it but what happens in the long run that problem gets worse and once they get to a point to where the problem has escalated then they want to do something about it and they find at the end of the day that the cost is much higher why because they let the problem get worse well that's the same thing that individuals do with health problems and mental health problems and psychological health problems that's why when I present information I want to give you the basics the overview so you understand the signs and the symptoms and it'll be a lot easier to ask a mental health professional the questions about what you believe you have whether it's anxiety stress or depression now when it comes to the signs they're pretty clear when a person has depression and the signs are around the person who is suffering now the person when it comes to actually being themselves, they don't feel like themselves. They have changes in mood. And the only person who can see the changes in the mood are your loved ones, your friends and family. Now, here's what you will experience with depression. The warning signs. There's a persistent sadness anxiousness, and of course, the mood is very empty. Feelings of guilt, hopelessness, and of course, negativity or pessimism. You feel helpless, unworthy, and there's also guilt-ridden feelings. There's a definite loss of interest in hobbies, and the hobbies that you like, you felt passionate about them, so there was the loss of pleasure in the hobbies and activities, and that includes sex. You have a decreased energy. In other words, you're lethargic, you're slow, and you have lots of fatigue, difficulty concentrating, remembering, and even making decisions. When it comes to sleep, insomnia, early morning awakening, or even oversleeping. You also have appetite problems or loss of appetite. You gain weight. You eat less. But overall, your eating patterns start to suffer. You have thoughts of death, suicide, and even suicidal attempts that become unsuccessful. You're irritable, restless, and the symptoms are physical, but they're also persistent. So persistent physical symptoms that do not respond to treatment, such as a headache, digestive disorders, and chronic pain. Now, in order for depression to be diagnosed, the person must experience the symptoms every day for at least two weeks. And that brings us to the types of depression. The first order of business is how do we define depression? Depression is a disorder. So we, we're just going to call it, or I'm just going to call it, depressive disorder. Now, what a depressive disorder involves 
it involves a breakdown of the different areas of depression, like a major depressive disorder. But depressive disorder comes in many different types. While there are many similarities to each type, each type of depression has its own unique set of symptoms. Now, the most commonly diagnosed form of depression is major depressive disorder. That's a condition where a primary symptom is an overwhelming depressed mood, and it lasts for more than two weeks. Now, the depressed mood affects all facets of a person's life, and that includes their work, home life, relationships, as well as friendships. Now, a person with this kind of depression often finds it difficult to do much of anything to get motivated. So even going to seek treatment for this condition is going to be challenging. Now, another type of depression is called dithemia. Now, dithemia is similar to a major depressive disorder, but the symptoms occur over a much longer period of time. Not two weeks, but more than two years. This is considered a chronic form of depression, and treatment can be challenging as an individual with dysthymia often has tried all matter of treatment. Now, individuals who are diagnosed with this condition can also suffer from occasional bursts or bouts of a major depressive disorder. Now, the third type of depression is referred to as an adjustment disorder with a depressed mood. Now, this condition is diagnosed when a person is adjusting to some new facet or change in their lives that has caused a great deal of worry. And there's that word again, stress. Now, this disorder can be diagnosed when a person is experiencing a good event in their life, such as a new marriage or a baby being born, because the individual is usually just needs a little additional support in their lives during this stressful time. Treatment for this disorder is time limited and it's basically simple. Now, while there are many types of depression, some kinds of this condition seem to be related to changes in the length of days or it's seasonal. Now, a seasonal depression is sometimes called a seasonal affective disorder known as SAD. And that's when people with this type of disorder, the SAD disorder or the seasonal affective disorder, what happens, they suffer the symptoms of a major depressive disorder only. Now, during a specific time of year, and that happens usually during the winter time. This appears to be related because the days are much shorter, and of course, the sunlight is less because the days are shorter. It's cold, and this happens in most parts of the country. Now, depression is also a symptom of other disorders. And this is what I've always spoken about when I've done these mental disorders. Every mental disorder has a connection, and it usually leads to stress, depression, and anxiety. Now, there are bipolar disorders that are associated with depression. Now, bipolar disorder is considered a mood disorder, but it is not a form of depression. Now, bipolar disorder is characterized by swings in a person's mood from depression to mania. Now, mania is when a person has a lot of energy. Like, they have this feeling like they're on top of the world, and their mindset is they can do anything. They feel like Superman. And what they do, they try to do anything. And what happens at the end of the day, it doesn't work for them. And the mania happens in your mind. That's that burst of energy. Now, when it comes to depression or bipolar symptoms, 
the cycling mood changes from severe highs, mania, to lows, depression. And it can sometimes be dramatic and rapid in some people, but most often the changes are gradual, like after pregnancy. Hormonal changes take place in a woman's body, and what happens? It may trigger symptoms of depression. More than half the women suffering from postpartum depression will experience it again when they birth another child. Now, it is critical to identify the danger and treat it early. During pregnancy, the amount of two female hormones, estrogen and progesterone in a woman's body increases greatly. So in the first 24 hours after childbirth, the amount of these hormones rapidly drops back to their normal non-pregnant levels. Now, researchers think that the fast change in hormone levels may lead to depression, just as smaller changes in hormones can affect a woman's mood before she has her menstrual period. But be that as it may, like any other mental disorder, depression is best diagnosed by a mental health professional, such as a psychiatrist, a psychologist, or someone who has specific experience, qualifications, and training in making accurate diagnosis. Now, when a family physician, or while a family physician or general practitioner can make a diagnosis of depression, you should also obtain a referral to a mental health professional for follow-up care. Again, depression is a real symptom. It can lead to anxiety, stress. And once that happens, you as an, as an individual can be affected physically. And this is why you have the strokes, the heart diseases, the heart attacks, because of the anxiety that's involved, the stress. Now again, when it comes to depression, and I'll get later on into mania, because depression is the polar opposite of mania, because mania is when you have highs. Depression is when you have lows. But overall, when it comes to depression, one must understand that there are different types of depression. And I just gave you a few, like the adjustment order with a depressed mood, the major depressive disorder. You have postpartum depression. You also have the SAD, the seasonal affective disorders. So, be clear. When somebody says they have Depression. Why not that they have one of those types of disorders? Because a number of us don't know that depression has different types. So I hope I have made it clear in this video for individuals who use the word depression but they don't know that depression comes in different types. But again, I want to reiterate something. I study the material because it's very interesting. I'm a civil engineer by trade. I can make civil engineering videos all day. But I feel passionate about mental health issues because the downfall of every Civilization is the mental state. If you're not right mentally, nothing else is going to work. And I don't care if you have money or you're broke. Mental health issues don't discriminate. And the purpose of my videos is to give you some insight about what's out there. Because we may see a person in a state of being cray-cray. But 
We don't know why they're cray cray. But until you get an understanding that individuals who have weird behaviors might have mental health issues, it's my job as a YouTuber to just give you some information. And that's what I do. Again, I'm not a doctor, so I can't diagnose any patients. I'm not even a healthcare practitioner. But that being said, you don't have to be to study the material because I've taken a few psychology classes in college. And I think it's very important that we understand psychology and behaviors because we have our own behavior issues that we don't know about. But once you get into the subject matter and find it interesting, you want to deliver it to help people. And in the black community, we definitely have a lot of mental and psychological issues. We fail to deal with them. Now, part of it is that we're not given the same justice. We don't have the resources. I can understand that. But being in denial just makes the problem worse. So what I'm saying to anyone, regardless of what community you live in, if you have one of these issues, seek help immediately. Because at the end of the day, you not only save other people, you save yourself. Because the worst thing you could do is put your loved ones in peril with constant mood changes. So again, when it comes to depression, there are different types of depression. But each form of depression has its own unique characteristic and it needs to be handled with care and treated properly. And once you Utilize the proper treatment for the symptoms. A person with depression can live a fully functional life. And that's my commentary for this edition of the 411 Talk Zone radio show for this afternoon, Wednesday. It's already hump day, August. 16th, 2017. You can tune into the 401 Talk Zone radio show every Saturday from 6 p.m. to 8 p.m. on Blog Talk Radio. Guest call in number is 215 383 5785. Of course, if you like my videos, please share and subscribe to the 401 Talk Zone radio show right here on YouTube so I can continue to give you quality information for educational purposes from a professional and mature perspective. Now, on this channel, I don't engage in debates, controversy, or emotional issues, nor do I participate in drama and or unnecessary bickering because it's a waste of time. It's counterproductive. What I do on my channel is teach, and the material that I'm presenting is very interesting. And the problem with a number of communities, especially black communities, we don't take the education well, but we love drama. But if you're interested in understanding your own behavioral issues, come to the 401 Talk Zone radio show because I'm going to give you the information from a realistic perspective, but it's going to be positive. Because if you have knowledge, you're going to have power because the real world is a very challenging place for you to live if you don't understand how it works. And to be a functional citizen in the real world, you must understand your own mental state. So come here and get some positive information and a 
apply it to your own life. And of course, with this channel, it can lead you to the proper channels to find the right healthcare professional for your symptoms. And on that note, if you have a business, a topic, or a new YouTube channel that you would like for me to discuss on YouTube or Blog Talk Radio, please email me at lej6521 at gmail.com. And if you have a comment, please leave your comment in the comment section under the video. But make sure that your comments are pithy. No bloviating, pettifogging, or filibustering, if you wish to opine. And that's it for this video. Till next time. My name is Leon Jones. Remember, please be gentle and respectful to each other. And have a wonderful and blessed day.